Hey everyone, I'm that one guy for never. Today, I have another badass combat build guide. The community has been asking for it, Archer Builds. So today, we're going to be diving deep into bow combat. I sure hope you like damage numbers, cause I've got a ton of them. But first, only 1% of you watching are actually subscribed. You're breaking my heart, guys. Show me some love. Please smash that subscribe button and click the bell so you know every time I'm putting out a new video. All right, let's take a look at what I feel are the best five archer builds right now. Number five. The Gunslinger, jack of all trade, master of none, but good at everything. You just can't go wrong with this one. For the build, our focus is on damage and reload speed, thereby keeping our DPS impressively high. Our weapon is the Blackhawks Crossbow, the strongest bow in the game that really packs a punch. Our armor is Antlion, the full set, which is very important to get the set bonus Quick Draw. This amazing perk reduces your reload time by 40% on attacks, taking the Black Ox crossbow down from 2.625 seconds to a speedy 1.575 seconds, dramatically bumping up our DPS. As I mentioned, we upgrade the armor bulky. Why? Because the sleek perk is terrible. But that's fine, because now we get a substantial bump up in defense, allowing us to jump in the fray if we need to. Our accessory is Thor's Pendant for a wide variety of awesome buffs, including Trickle Health and Stam Regen, plus 1% crit chance and plus 10% crit damage, 10% reduction in stamina cost to attack, and 10% faster regen of our stamina when depleted. All amazing stuff for an archer. Our mutations start with Sharpshooter, reducing our sprint cost by 100% on attack, allowing us to kite our our enemies safely. Buff lungs and cardio fan for increased DPS and more stamina to keep us moving. Lastly is Kuda Grass and Trapper Peeper for increased crit chance and increased crit damage. Round this build out with Spider Slider or Larvania for an additional 5% crit chance, bringing our total to 11% chance to crit on each attack and 110% additional damage when we do crit. For smoothies, archers have lots of good options. Boost Juice for 20 extra stamina points, Liquid Rage for 10% more damage, or my favorite, Green Machine for hyper stamina to keep us moving and dealing out damage consistently. The Gunslinger can use any arrow effectively, however our preferred combo is consecutive splinter arrows. They deal high damage and they're quite affordable. This starts out at 110 base damage, but with our weapon at level 9 and all of our buffs is boosted to 223.8 damage, bringing our DPS to 142.1 damage per second. If you really need to bring the pain for multiple enemies, pull out your bomb arrows. This starts at a base 170 damage, boosted to 345.9, multiplied by the number of targets we hit. So for example, if you can hit two targets consecutively, you have a DPS of 439.2 damage, and with three targets, 658 DPS. That's some fancy shooting there, Slick. Number 4 have you ever felt outnumbered and outgunned? Turn the tide with allies of your own. The Beast Tyrant is a primal build where we uncage our inner animal. Our focus is on summoning allies and bleeding our enemies out. For the build, we start with the full moss set upgraded sleek for low stamina cost and amazing perks. Jumpstart, giving us a combined 15% chance to refund 15 stamina on attack. That's the equivalent of two more shots. Wind Run, giving us a 25% chance on attack to increase our movement speed by 20% for 10 seconds. Nothing is going to catch up to you. But most importantly, Ranged Cut, which gives us a combined 90% chance to apply 100 bleed damage over 5 seconds that refreshes with each reapplication. This armor set allows us to be very agile, kiting our enemies with ease for prolonged periods of time. If you prefer to snipe from safety, swap out the hat for the marksman 
Horseman Cap upgraded Sleek for 20% more damage. You won't proc the bleed quite as much, but you make up for it with the major boost in damage. Our accessory is the Broodmother Trinket, which gives our summons poison on all of their attacks. Now I know this trinket is rare, but the Broodmother is easy with tier 3 gear. You can easily farm her 20 plus times back to back per run. Our mutations are Sharpshooter, reducing our sprint cost by 100% on attack. You thought kiting was good before, it's even better now. Buff lungs and cardio fan for increased DPS and more stamina to keep us moving and summoning. Then we have Mum's Jeans and Mant Stereous Stranger. Good old Mum gives us a 10% chance on each attack to summon a Spiderling ally and Mysterious Stranger, a 1% chance to summon our favorite stun king, the Mant. Thanks to the Broodmother Trinket, not only will our summons take the aggro off of us and dish out some damage and stun, but they also apply poison with every hit that deals a nasty 150 damage over 10 seconds. To round this build out, we utilize the Insect Bow. With its quick reload time of 1.537 seconds, we can successfully keep the bleed effect applied 99.9% .9 of the time. And that's the real map. This gives us a near constant 20 DPS on top of our weapon's damage. Additionally, these fast attacks allow us to proc our summons much more frequently than you might expect. We top things off with the Smoothie Liquid Rage for 10% more damage, or Green Machine for Hyper Stamina, and the Meal Might Loaf or Fungus Pacho for a 10% Attack Stamina Reduction. The Beast Tyrant's favorite combo is much the same as the last build, consecutive splinter arrows for your standard fights. These arrows are inexpensive, yet very powerful, and can be recollected after every engagement, minimizing our waste. With the bleed, this gives us a shockingly high 117.8 DPS that jumps even higher with our summon's poison. When the enemy clusters up, pull out your bomb arrows for 181.5 DPS multiplied by the number of enemies hit. With fights this wild, things are going to get downright beastly. Number 3 Archers, have you looked on with envy at melee player's Poison Widow build? Well, have no fear, the Kiss of Death build is here. By stacking multiple damage over time effects, we can quickly and effectively drain the life right out of our enemies, all the while while staying perfectly safe out of danger. For the build, our focus is on maximizing damage over time and stealth. Our weapon is the Black Ox Crossbow for the highest bow DPS in the game, which will take our combo to the next level. More on that soon. Our armor starts with the Mask of the Mother Demon. Sleek or bulky doesn't really matter. The Sleek perk Poison Nova only applies on melee attacks. Go this route if you'd like to have a melee option, otherwise bulky for slightly more defense, for the rare occasion you might get into trouble. What we really like is the perk Poison Coating, which gives us a 100% chance on hit to apply 40 poison damage over 15 seconds. Next is the Widow Spalder, upgraded sleek for two amazing perks. Poison Damage, giving all of our poison an additional 50% damage. And Parry Poison, for a 20% chance on parry to apply 75 poison damage over 15 seconds for those rare times that we need to get personal. Next is the Moth Leggings for two more perks. Jump Start that gives us a 5% chance on hits to refund 15 stamina. But more importantly, Ranged Cut, which gives us a 30% chance on hit to apply 100 bleed damage over 5 seconds. You might think that 30% is a low chance with the speed of the Black Ox crossbow, but actually, the expected uptime is just shy of 50%. Our accessory is the Broodmother Trinket yet again to give our summons that guaranteed poison that deals a nasty 150 damage over 10 seconds. For added buffs, we drink Liquid Rage for 10% more damage. Also, you should eat the Meal Might Loaf or Fungus Pacho for attack stamina. For mutations, sharpshooter to reduce sprinting costs by 100% for those up in personal battles. 
but most importantly the mastery perk, which gives spicy arrows a burn DOT dealing 50 damage over 5 seconds. Coup de Grass for an occasional massive spike in damage. Mum's Jeans for a 10% chance on hit to summon our deadly spiderling ally that inflicts yet another dot thanks to the Broodmother Trinket. We top it off with Buff Lungs and Cardio Fan to keep our stamina up for a consistent combo. Speaking of combo, the Kiss of Death build has quite a deadly one. We start every engagement off by perching ourselves in a safe spot. I like to remember this combo with its abbreviation VS PS PS. That stands for Venom Spicy pause, spicy, pause, spicy, then repeat. In real time, we rain down a venom arrow followed by an immediate spicy arrow to start stacking DOT. Pause two seconds, then let loose another spicy. Pause another two seconds, and again let a spicy fly, and immediately repeat the combo. Unproperly, this is a 15 second combo that minimizes our wastefulness with these expensive arrows, while maximizing our damage. Our Venom arrows deal a boosted 172.33 damage, plus thanks to the Widow Spalder, a boosted 6.25 damage per second, giving us 266.1 damage total. Add on all three of the spicy arrows, which are a boosted 209.6 damage each, plus 10 damage every second. And let's not forget, our Mask of the Mother Demons boosted 4 damage every second, and our Bleeds 20 damage every second at 4 49.3% uptake, and we get a combined total of 1,256 damage, or 83.73 DPS over 15 seconds. All the while, we're perched above in no danger at all, while our enemy suffers an agonizing demise. Life's just not fair. Number 2. If you want extreme damage while saying fuck all to efficiency, this is the build for you. The Demolitionist takes the most powerful arrow in the game and uses it liberally to awesome effect. For the build, the focus is on extreme damage. We want to maximize the damage of our bomb arrows to its utmost potential to minimize their cost. For armor, we start off with the Marksman Cap Upgraded Sleek for two perks. Crit Energize Bow, giving our crits a 50% chance to restore 12 stamina, and Plus Bow Attack, giving us a flat 20% more damage, dramatically bumping up our damage output. The chest and legs are the moth robe and leggings, keeping our stamina cost low and our character agile while blessing us with two great perks. Jumpstart, which gives us a combined 10% chance on attack to refund 15 stamina, and ranged cut, which gives us a combined 60% chance to apply 100 bleed damage over 5 seconds. With two pieces of moth armor, our bleed's expected uptime is a respectable 82.5%, giving us an average of 16.51 DPS on the bleed. For our weapon, we want to hit as hard as possible, so the Black Ox crossbow for its beefy attacks. Our accessory is the Entomologist Badge for a flat 10% extra damage. The perfect block debuff is meaningless as we're out of harm's way nearly all the time, and when we're not, the enemy's dead too quick for it to matter. Be sure to top yourself off with Liquid Rage for 10% more damage, and the meal Spider Slider or Larvania to increase your crit chance by 5%. Our mutations start with Sharpshooter for that sweet 100% sprint cost reduction in case we need to get personal. Then Buff Lungs and Cardio Fan for increased DPS and more stamina to keep us moving. Finally, Coup de Grass and Trapper Peeper to bring us up to 10% crit chance and an added 110% crit damage. Our combo, you guessed it, an unapologetic barrage of bomb arrows. With all our buffs, it brings our average damage up to to a monstrous 452.1 damage per shot. Our DPS is dependent on how many targets we hit. If we hit just one target consecutively, this gives us a DPS of 172.23, plus our bleed of 16.51. For two targets, 344.46 DPS plus the bleed. Three is 516.69 DPS plus the bleed. Sweet God, and people say bows are lackluster. You're literally a one-man artillery. 
Number one. We always save the best for last. The trophy hunter is the archer that all bugs should fear. She stalks exotic prey, studying all their weaknesses and using the best of them to make herself stronger. All the while utilizing the terrain and traps to her advantage. There's not a single tool in her arsenal she's not prepared to use. For the build, our focus is on shrewd cunning and hitting our enemies where it hurts the most. Our armor starts with the marksman cap upgraded sleek. With the intelligence of the crow, we have access to two perks, crit energized bow, giving our crits a 50% chance to restore 12 stamina, and plus bow attack, giving us a flat 20% more damage, dramatically bumping up our damage output. For our torso, we wear the B shoulder pads, upgraded sleek. With the tenacity of the bumblebee, we gain access to two more perks, bow stun, giving us a 20% chance on hit to apply three additional stun damage. Slow shot, giving us a 50% chance on hit to slow the target by 20% for five seconds. The stun and slow makes it easy for us to pick off our enemies and it even affects bosses. For legs, we garner the moth leggings. With the mystique and grace of the moth, we're blessed with two other perks. Jump start, giving us a 5% chance on attack to refund 15 stamina. Ranged cut, giving us a 30% chance to apply 100 bleed damage over 5 seconds. You might think that's a low chance with the speed of the Blackhawks crossbow, but again, the expected uptime is just shy of 50 percent our weapon is a thing of beauty forged from the horn of the mighty black ox beetle our prize black ox crossbow with the stopping power worthy of the name our accessory is thor's pendant a blessed trinket found on one of our safaris this blessing gives us a wide variety of awesome buffs including trickle health and stam regen plus one percent crit chance and plus ten percent crit damage ten percent reduction in stamina cost to attack and ten percent faster regen of our stamina when depleted all amazing stuff for a legendary hunter for mutations, we're a master sharpshooter, causing us to spend 100% less stamina when kiting our enemies. And we've mastered the ability to add unique elemental effects to each of our prized arrows. Mint arrows apply a guaranteed 30% slow on our enemy that stacks with our B slow shot. And sour arrows get an extra 10 stun, bringing them up to 15 stun points per shot, bringing even the toughest enemy to their knees and spicy arrows, which apply a nasty 50 burn damage over 5 seconds with each shot. Next, we have buff lungs and cardio fan, which keep our DPS up and our body agile to kite our prey effectively. With our textbook knowledge of our enemies, we gain access to coup de grass and trapper peeper, bumping up our crit chance by 5% and our crit damage by 60%, which stacks with our accessory. Learning from the natives, we utilize a berserker tonic called Liquid Rage to bestow us with the power of the wolf spider for 10% more damage. And the local delicacy, Spider Slider or Larvania, for 5% additional crit chance, bringing us up to 11% chance chance to crit on each attack. Our fighting style is quite unorthodox. We observe our prey learning their hunting grounds and studying their weaknesses. In preparation, we set up cunning traps to weaken and slow our prey. Before any major engagement, we have totems placed near the hunting ground, gifting us with 20% bonus damage on that foe for 15 minutes. With our preparations in place, we notch our bow with the best arrow for the job. Spiders are weak to spicy, so we let loose a flurry of burning shots. Robots and orcs are weak to sour, so we barrage them with a shocking gift. Most prey are weak to fresh, so we always keep a hefty supply of mint arrows to slow our enemies to a halt. With us exploiting a 25% weakness, we deal 154.98 DPS. 50% weakness, this jumps up to a staggering 186 DPS. Not to mention our bleed and all the status effects like our slows, stuns, and burns. Our repertoire doesn't end there though. When dealing with colonies or surrounded by foes, we super gas the area at our feet and unleash bomb arrows to completely obliterate our foes en masse. The trophy hunter is a demon in the flesh, a true force to be reckoned with. So our 
archers, what did you think? Those were some pretty epic builds, right? I hope I did you proud. I know bows don't get the love they deserve. Just keep in mind, these builds are highly customizable, so feel free to play around with it, mixing and matching until you're satisfied. What are some archer builds you guys play with? Have something awesome you'd like to share? Drop the build in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around. See you all next time.